So thanks for rejoining us on YouTube. Uh, we are just about to do some questing. So if you have noticed, I have my daughter Esther here with me. Uh, she wanted to come and see what Dad was doing, and Dad was in the middle of his stream, so Dad's currently here. So we are going to going to, first and foremost get some boring stuff out of the way, transmog, go to the auction house and replace some. I need to get some bigger bags because this this ten slot bag business where I keep running out of space is is getting a little much. Esther, can you see yourself? Look, say hi. Hi. Look at the camera up there. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so um, I've mentioned a few times while on stream that I have a daughter. Uh, this is one of them. <laughs> this is Esther. This is my oldest. She is three, going on four in December this year. You need to be careful, Esther. Just a moment. Is that better? Right, just move Esther to the side here because she was a bit uncomfortable. Um, so, if you hear me speaking in a baby voice, it's probably because I'm speaking to my daughter. I'm not speaking to my, um, you know, my, my audience in a baby voice. That would be a little weird. <laughs> what you doing? Is that the funny? I cannot trade that. Esther, you're crazy. Hey, you. What you doing? Why are they worth 20,000 gold, but you lose the thread of boots? I don't really know. But... Boots? <laughs> I cannot trade boots. Esther, you're crazy. What's Esther doing? Why don't you tell Dad what you've been doing downstairs? You danced? You want to get down? Okay, say bye-bye, everybody. Right, do you want to get down that way, then? So that was my daughter, guys. Uh, <laughs> oh, dearie me. <laughs> just I'm just going to disable the camera for just two seconds to help my partner with something. Uh, I'll still be here, but we're just sorting something out. Just disable that so that when you because you, you're putting that on. Yeah, yeah. Oh well. I cannot trade that. I cannot trade that. I cannot trade that. Hey man, I had to go get the app to say hi. Who's Barber B? Hey Barber B, whoever, whoever that is. <laughs> Sorry. Um, oh. Let's have a look here. Um,
I'll say hi, Barber B, whoever that is. Um, what's here? It just says Barber B. Yeah. Oh, it's Connor. Hey, Connor. I apologise for. As I say, it's hard to uh, distinguish so usernames. I'm not very good with. So, um, if you hear some noise in the background, it's I do. I do. My toddler is up here with me. So, so I'm just having a look for some bags. It's just because we need to improve our bag space. Yeah, camera's off. Yeah, of course you can. Just got the camera disabled for now, guys, because we're sorting something out. We have a very cheeky toddler right now, so. I don't remember bags being this weird to find. Let's have a look here. Me on moment. So you've never played Warcraft, but you've seen your mate play. And that's cool. Um, so um, it's not this boring all the time. What I'm currently doing is I'm just getting ready to go to Northrend. So um, just cause, um, because I keep running out of bag space. So we're going to upgrade that. better if you look at my bags now that's much much more organized with a lot more space so that was probably the most boring thing you'll see me do mess with the auction house but you know it's it's gonna be done I have many lucky dudes that you like it's a bind on equip I need to sell that Go run back into the auction house. It'll take me two minutes. Got the best deals anywhere. Just going to re-enable my camera just a second. Hello, there we are. Um, this is the retail version of the um, retail version of the game that we're playing. This is Battle for Azeroth. Um, Uh, Esther says, Esther says hi everyone, and apparently do do do. So uh, we have that, yeah. So this is Battle for Azeroth that we're playing. Um, so it's, it's gonna, uh, what's this? This is a hunter with some interesting gear. Um, so this is the um, the retail version of all the Warcraft that we're playing. So just a second, guys.
Yeah, Esther's um, been a bit of a monkey at the minute. She won't sleep, so. She's come to bed, and she's currently a live wire, but. Let's do some North Rand questing, so. Ranga Marsh, Terrakar, Nagran, Neverstorm, Dragon White, Crystal Hills. Alright, show us our Storm Peaks. You know what? That's fine. So what we'll do is we'll go straight for Grizzly Hills. What is your wish? So we have to go to Crystal Film Forest. Just to making funny noises. Are just making lots of noises. Esther's yeah. just making weird noises now. Oh, a glitch, hang on. We've been disconnected from the server. Okay, so just a moment. Just bear with me one moment, guys. Yeah, she's probably just weird like a dad, to be fair, the kid. Um, but, you know, bless her. Just a second, guys. Just need to organize what's going on with the game. I just had a bit of a disconnection issue. So we should be back online now. Uh, just making sure my streaming software hasn't glitched. No, we're good. Everyone can see and hear me okay, yeah? So I should be able to fly in North Rand. I can, because I learnt the flying skill. So we need to go to Grizzly Hills. Sound as long as you can all hear me. So, oh, whoever's that. It's a shame that punk IPA is gone. I have more cans downstairs and I forgot to bring them. If 
we're lucky in Grizzly Hills, we might be able to get a rare pet for the Hunter Companion. Um, there's a ghost creature called Arcturus. I know where he spawns, and I'm going to go and look for him on the way down here. It's usually right about here or here. Why is the IPA always gone? <laughs> That's a good point. Probably because it's punk IPA and I could literally drink this stuff like water despite it being kind of packing a punch. It's just a very nice beer. Um, hell, even my other half who doesn't drink beer had one the other night, so... Also, the IPA is always gone probably because, as you've noticed, I have a beard. Uh, and because I have a beard, that is a prerequisite for having to drink IPAs all the time. Apparently, my face is the last thing an IPA sees before it dies. So we'll switch for nicotine instead, because uh, I'm not going downstairs through two floors to go get more beer. I don't want to wake the seven-month-old baby up. <laughs> I don't drink much, but it's a good beer. It's a good beer. Punk IPA. Well, the thing is, one of my favourite hangouts in Sheffield is the brew dog if I'm not going to corp which is never but still before corp normally I go to brew dog uh, and so I go and drink I usually drink punk there because it's it's the beer that I know I'm gonna like also I like the Elvis juice they also have one called jackhammer for a while which is really good it just it killed you um, it's like if you but Brewdog is good. Brewdog is quality. Um, I'm not. Sp this stream is not sponsored by Brewdog. Just a disclaimer. I wish it were. I don't think I have enough. <laughs> I don't think they'd want to sponsor a stream with with less than ten followers. <laughs> um, but you know, um, <laughs> someone get Brewdog on the line. Just say, listen, this guy is like drinking himself into a stupor every single day with Brewdog, so please somebody uh, throw the guy a bone. I'm kidding. We're gonna s so before we go any further with questing, I'm going to try and get a hold of this rare hunter pet. I know the place is where it is. Oh, the growler. Yeah. You can get a great... Yeah, my friend has one of those too. Uh, I've got a friend who actually owns a lot of shares in Brewdog as well. Um, not like primary shareholder tier or anything, but just enough for him to um, tell me about it every time we go to Brewdog. And he gets a membership discount because he's a shareholder, which is fair play. I love this zone. The music and the aesthetic of it is great. Very Norse. I remember Arcturus hangs out around here somewhere. See if we can find it. It's on a very low respawn rate, so if it's not around, it's not going to surprise me because it's a low respawn rate and a rare hunter pet, so. Oh, he 
found it. Ah, welcome back. We found the rare hunter pet. Did we get it? Ah, we did. <laughs> First time as well. We managed to get Arcturus, which is... Which is amazing. I didn't think we'd actually be able to get it. Because I remember I stalked this hunter pet for when I did play the game. Um like as a uh, as a hunter. Let's have a look. So the hunt no the the, the pet uh, that, that's my Drake, but that's my pet. I the spirit bear here. So But we got this uh, Arcturus, so we got the rare pet on our first attempt, which is quite rare. So it's survival of the fittest, and then we've got Spirit Walk. I need to target something first. So it can do healing. I require a target. That's quite good. Let's see what it's like in combat. <laughs> have a target that's pretty good so it goes into like a spirit walk stealth mode that's cool so I am um, because I remember I struggled so the first time I ever played a hunter which was only up until about this level I managed to get this but it took me forever but we just happened to fly around at the right time when it seems like it had just spawned so yeah, we got it. Nice. I'm glad we got that on stream as well. And we captured it on YouTube, which is even better. Um, I don't know how rare this guy is now, but back when I first acquired it, this was a really hard to get pet. These were really hard to acquire. second.
Okay, so where were we? Sorry about that. I had to look something up. Created a name for the hunter pack, called it Thromkosh, which is like a just orcish name. A new Valore Delinar. What can I do for you? For the whore. Let's just accept all Fortune. requests. Oh, this is Nazgrim before he became Nail a general. Because we're playing a few expansions behind, this guy became a very pivotal character throughout um, the Miss of Pandaria expansion. And the, um, well, he became prominent again during Legion when he became a, a Death Knight. He became uh, one of the horsemen of the horsemen for the Death Lord. Which was a, an interesting aspect to his character. So this is like before that. This is way before that. This is during the Northrend campaign. So this is Wrath of the Lich King, the expansion win right now. What you want? So, we gotta get some venison, some warg hides, some talismans, and, some, and kill some of the dragon flayers. Okay, so we'll this should be. I'm quite surprised we managed to get the pet the first time. I don't know whether they've made it more common. I'm hoping not, because if not, that's really lucky. Esther's laughing at something in the background. Yeah, Esther's become obsessed with this show called Boobar, uh, which, I'll be totally honest, I consider to be one of the most horrifying things I've ever seen in an actual um, sign of the apocalypse. Um, I'm fairly convinced that Boobar is, is, is evil. It's on Netflix, and it's not Boobar which came from the uh, Mad Child Hunters, these like fat, colourful things. It's it's a very, very strange looking um, hairy little gremlin, goblin y type creature. I apologise for the background noise, we do have a toddler causing chaos. I think she knows she's, on, she's live on the internet, that's what it is. Too far away! See, the, the handy thing about this quest line is that because I play a hunter and I've taken skinning and leatherworking as my professions to craft armor and such, it means that when I'm killing animals in the wild like this, it means that I can also skin them for my professions as well as get the quests I need, so it helps me level my professions too. Never heard of it. Yeah, so um, Booba is terrible and it's horrifying. It's on Netflix and it's. I can't describe it to you. I, I, I don't I like it. In the words of a meme, I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Right, 
chromate those. Just do some crafting because. You can't see this from where you are, but Esther is currently bouncing violently on the bed. <laughs> I am not going to show you guys this, just because she decided to take, to remove her baby girl, and she's rolling around on the bed saying, I'm a fish. You ever seen that video of that news reporter when he's trying to present the news and uh, his kids are going crazy in the background? Just a moment. I require a target. Target. Sorry, but I was just uh, Esther decided she was going absolutely nuts for the cheaper than a trampoline. Well, true, but it's a brand new bed because this is a brand new decorated room. This is a brand new workstation I've created. Um, and this, well, yeah, it's a brand. It is cheaper, but also it's a mattress. Good job, she's cute. Um. Yeah, um, but uh, what, what we're saying about Booba, Booba's horrifying. But Esther loves it, and so does Beatrice, apparently, so that's the thing. She's still bouncing on the bed, and I'm, I'm convinced I'm going to hear a thud and a scream in a minute. Which is when she falls off the bed. Just a second, guys. I'm just going to cut this part for YouTube, and then we're going to resume in a second.